In today's video, we bring some inventions that feel like came from future. Watch till to end and don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. What role will human-machine interaction have in the future? Yamaha engineers used the Motorrad 2 to investigate this query. This idea is based on one that was developed around six years ago. This takes into account modern developments like facial recognition and artificial intelligence technologies. Motorrad 2's swing arm and rear wheel move independently of the bike's other components, allowing for self-balancing. Furthermore, Motorrad 2 is capable of moving on its own without a rider. You are so good at it that you could even dance on the bike. It's also said to be able to identify certain motions. On the Yamaha promotional page, it isn't yet clear how to operate the motorcycle without handlebars. A car-sized walking robot has been constructed by the Japanese. This 3.4 meter long behemoth can support four people with ease. It's no accident that the business that constructed it specialized in amusement rides. Though it travels slowly, the robot, called SR02, can crouch, spin around in a single position and make the audience and its riders happy. It is possible to operate the robot remotely. Though it's still a ways off from the Star Wars Atiyah to Walker, amusement parks may eventually deploy these kinds of robots. The SR02's 1.9 meter height is sure to wow. But who knows, the future edition may be much larger. Innofission is nothing new to Motorola. The business revealed a fascinating prototype of a foldable smartphone at Lenovo Tech World 2023. It's flexible enough to be able to be wrapped around your wrist. This may be rather significant. You purchase a smartphone and receive a smart watch in addition. Additionally, you are no longer in need of a phone stand. You may now watch a video as you eat lunch. The screen's diagonal in its standard configuration is 6.9 inches. It shrinks to 4.6 inches when bent. It's unclear if this smartphone will be manufactured in large quantities. Nonetheless, Motorola presented a related notion back in 2016, suggesting that this concept is well liked by someone at the firm. AI is useful in the process of designing future devices. Hoverboards are only one of the many things it can sketch and explain. Although it may sound funny, there are currently a good number of functional hoverboards on the market. Consider this one, which Lexus produced in 2015. Did we miss the arrival of the future back then? Regretfully, no. Lexus employed a little ruse. They had to construct a special skate park with metal plates beneath the surface in order for it to function. The hoverboard itself was made of liquid nitrogen-cooled superconductors and powerful magnets that were cooled to minus 197 degrees Celsius. A project called Project Silica uses quartz glass wafers to store data. Although it seems like something from a science fiction film, Microsoft actually created this useful device. It was reported that up to 75.6 terabytes of data may be stored on a tiny quartz plate, measuring 75 by 75 by 2 millimeters. They record data and make small three-dimensional patterns using a laser. They've created a method based on artificial intelligence algorithms to recover it. These plates are resistant to boiling magnetic fields and scratching. They have the capacity to store data for up to 10,000 years. Utilizing these plates in cloud servers is recommended. The following concept in today's lineup is a future flying automobile project by Hoversurf a Russian business. Its utilization of engines based on the Venturi effect is one of its unique features. Compared to their predecessors, these engines are safer, more compact and quieter because they are not built with propellers. Furthermore, an air cab equipped with these engines may fit neatly into a regular parking space and the 250 km per hour top speed will be useful for a flying ambulance. About 30 minutes of flying time should be possible on a full battery charge and using a Tesla fast charger to recharge the battery will only take 40 minutes. Not only are parties and loud automobiles great with a firm base, it turns out that you can use it to douse flames as well. 
a sound-based fire extinguisher, has been developed by George Mason University students in the United States. Although the concept is not novel, their extinguisher is small and effective. In tests, it extinguished blazing alcohol. The best strategy is to use sound frequencies in the range of 30 to 60 Hz. The project only cost the students $600, and the plan is to attach these fire extinguishers to drones. From Hong Kong, a solution for those who spend a lot of time in front of computers has been developed. Louis Kuang, a local innovator, has created a monitor that uses natural light for lighting. The 24-inch display looks like a regular monitor when seen from the front. Kuang has included a light collector and reflector on the rear though. Naturally, using it without an additional illumination while working in the dark is not recommended. During the day though, it's a financial and visual victory. The power consumption of the monitor decreases to 4 watts. After experiencing success on Kickstarter, the creator plans to send the monitors to supporters in the upcoming year. A monitor is $569 in price. With the XR Gloves prototype, the American Team Fluid Reality also offered a glimpse of what's to come. These days, all technologies pertaining to mixed, augmented, and virtual reality are referred to as XR. The team behind Fluid Reality has big goals. The tactile pixels on the fingertips of these gloves are their most notable feature. Up to 20 of these pixels have been crammed into every square centimeter by the engineers. Each one is a little, non-moving hydraulic pump. These pumps create small bubbles inside the pixels by the use of an electric field, giving the wearer of the glove a sensation of pressure. The creators are optimistic that these gloves, if they make it to market, will set end customers just $1,000, which is $5,000 less than comparable products from other manufacturers. Meanwhile, the American company Matador offers this compact stuff sack that can be attached to your keychain priced at $17. It's designed for people who frequently visit the pool or beach. Before taking a dip, you can store your smartphone, wallet, and other items that should stay dry in the stuff sack. After you swim, it's ideal for holding a swimsuit, swim trunks, and other damp items. The stuffed sack has a capacity of 2.5 liters and weighs just 23 grams. It's made from nylon with a silicon body for the case and it includes a stainless steel ring. Anuk Viprecht is an incredible designer who has even contributed to an Apple collection, Audi. The interesting thing about this Dutch designer's creation, screen dress, is that its parts are 3D printed. Furthermore, your thoughts have the ability to physically affect the clothing. The displays on the garment change their patterns in response to impulses coming from the wearer's brain, recorded with an electroencephalograph. Additionally, the clothing is adaptable and considers the individual differences in brain activity. The most intriguing aspect of the outfit is that it runs on the Raspberry Pi Zero, an inexpensive single... Hoverboards are a possible future common sight, much like electric scooters. The Swedish company Autolive is rightly considering ways to improve road safety, since they were the first to produce two-point seat belts back in 1953. Safety is their specialty. Autolive suggests using airbags to protect scooter riders, skaters, and other less protected road users from injuries. This combination of airbags provides the best protection possible, even in a head-on collision. However, there is currently no word on when these airbags will go into mass production. Fakhni is a kite made specifically to produce power. The Makhni team developed a 20 kilowatt hour prototype and, after seven years of work, produced an operational industrial kite that could generate about 600 kilowatt hour. Google once purchased the Makhni project, but in 2019, the business ceased providing money for it and in February 2020, Alphabet ended Makani, the parent business of Google. Nonetheless, the Makani kite's operation is really simple. It climbs to a height of around 300 to 400 meters and rotates, using its rotors to generate energy. To transfer the generated electricity, it is connected to a ground station via a tether. For Makani to launch, wind rates of at least 3.5 meters per second are required, 
about 30 houses might be supplied with power by the 600 kilowatts it produces. When people move, many of them want to take their entire life with them, not just their belongings. That's why the New Zealand-based business Tidrostod, or TRT, has trailers made just for it. These trailers are incredibly long, up to 23 meters, and incredibly heavy, weighing 58 tons. They also include a torsional box system, which adds 40% more strength and double axle steering. The trailer may also be lifted to a height of around 2.8 meters and lowered to the ground thanks to the hydraulic jacks on each wheel. A remote control can be used by the operator to operate the trailer. Puller Secure Retreat High-rise installers find it excellent, as it comes in handy when they have to drop from a large height. The apparatus has a 50-meter rope and can support up to 250 kg. It works in a temperature range of 50 to minus 50 degrees Celsius and has a respectable speed of 1 meter per second.